And Keith, for the record, this was not an item on the formal agenda for HISD's Board of Trustees meeting. Still, community leaders said that they will continue to press HISD until both coaches are terminated. A parent's outrage recorded after its alleged members of Bel Air High School's baseball team made monkey sounds, lobbed racial slurs, all of it addressed to Westbury High School's pitcher, who's black. What this is, is a miscarriage of civil rights and human rights. Dr. Candace Matthews from the Rainbow Push Coalition joined by members of the NAACP and other concerned parents and community leaders to speak out against racism. I have a black brother, dude. <laughs> <laughs> the aftermath of which they say was caught on camera March 25th. In question, Bel Air High School's head baseball coach Nick Azuna, as well assistant coach Robert Manuel. Both are accused of not correcting their players' alleged racist taunts, a theme some say. Chop your hair. Erica Rome says Azuna wouldn't let her son join the baseball team, allegedly telling him he needed to cut his afro. Attorney Kevin Murray represents Rome as well as parents of both Bel Air and Westbury High School's baseball team. So will he file suit? We're looking into that. We're looking at the Department of Education making claims against that and also some other federal claims. I don't hear a whole lot of discourse about the high racist standard. The call to fire both coaches filled tonight's public comment session at HISD's Board of Trustees meeting. You need to get not only the students, but fire the coaches. Meantime, an attorney representing Azuna called this a smear campaign, releasing a statement which reads in part, quote, Coach Azuna participated fully with the district's investigation, answered every question, and turned in almost 100 letters of support from current and former players and parents from all walks of life, including many who were in attendance at the Westbury game and witness to all alleged events. That statement goes on to say that they are confident the coach will resume his job and be able to go on with his team. Live on the Northwest Side HISD headquarters, I'm Brandon Walker, KPRC 2 News.